So this article from the Natural Blaze, <clears throat> vaccines will be made from human cancer tumors. Unbelievably, the method of producing vaccines using cells that are derived directly from human cancer tumors have been approved, even though the vaccines may induce cancer in recipients. This method is cheaper and faster than breeding animals for the culture media, and human cancer tumors are readily available. So the FDA had a meeting in September 2012, and these, what's in I italics here is taken directly from the meeting. I'll put the link to the article here and the link to the whole meeting as the, you know, the minutes from the entire thing so you can read through if you want, but here's a couple highlights. It says, we have really identified three major factors that could potentially convey risk from the tumor-derived cells. All these include the cell and these include the cells themselves. And if they were tumor-derived cells, <clears throat> then maybe they themselves could form tumors in a vaccine recipient. And what I think is qualitatively different about the tumor cell lines in vaccines is the fact that they can cause tumors. <laughs> but of course, just like with radiation, how are you going to prove it? Said so certainly, if you're going to address the question about tumor risk of vaccines made in tumor cell lines, it's going to have to be a decades question. So they can obviously deny it down the line. Oh no, you got cancer from this or from that, not from the vaccine you got 10 years ago. There's no way to prove it, so they don't care because then they'll just make money off of your nap, oh, your cancer. And FDA is there to help vaccine manufacturers. Dr. D, the leader of the meeting, says, but we are here to consider the issues that we would like to advise the agency to consider in helping the company continue the manufacturing process. What should they be concerned about? What should they be watching for? You're supposed to be there to protect the public, not to help the company. Then more from the villain, Dr. D, says, so I'm not sure that we can give a certainty there's no risk. Don't worry about this. It's sort of a brave new world. We're all doing it together. But I think that you're doing a beautiful job. And we'll learn about the risks as time goes by. So even though there are challenges to using the new technologies, they have to be embraced, and we have to continue to try to learn for them and struggle through that learning curve. In the meantime, people are dying, people are getting sick, but don't worry about it. You're doing a beautiful job. Dr. D says, I'm a vaccine guy. They are wonderful to prevent infectious diseases. I hope that I'm speaking for everybody when I say that's the answer to your question. Then the committee formally approves the method of making vaccines from human cancer tumors. To come back to the agency's question of whether this committee believes it's correct scientifically to go forward with the development of these vaccines, our answer is yes. So the article goes here, in conclusion, making vaccines with cells that are directly derived from humor cancer tumors is faster and cheaper than breeding animals for the culture media. Millions of potentially cancer-causing vaccines will be produced. The vaccines may possibly cause genetic mutations. Millions of dollars will be made by vaccine promoters. The health of millions of consumers may be jeopardized. And information about how these vaccines are made will be hidden from doctors and consumers. In the, uh, in the meeting, they go on to say how they're going to not put it in the vaccine insert. Not that anybody really gets that or looks at it anyway. But it won't specifically be mentioned that the vaccine is derived from cancer, from tumors. <laughs> and this, people will just blindly take them. Go get your flu shot. Go get your this shot. Without even questioning, and stuff like this is, is brushed under the rug.